<laughs> what did I tell y'all? What in the God's hot sun did I tell you dudes? Some of you dudes, some of y'all are just so stupid. Guys, I, I done told y'all this. I done told y'all this for years and years and years at a time about, but I told y'all about this guy. I told y'all that he was going to do some silly, goofy stuff. You know, and, and le listen, I'm going to go in on Bojangle and Bucktooth, Buttermouth, Biscuit Head, Butt Phrase, a Booty Breath, Booger Nose, Bucktooth, Bud. I'm going in on Listen, y'all. So this dude, he clapping down. He's finna fight Pacquiao. And, you know, everybody's coming for the LDBC neck. Boy, boy, boy. Well, people coming for the LDBC. Coming for the LDBC hard. Oh, see the LDBC. <laughs> boy, they finna be salty. They finna be salty. They finna be so salty that Bud is gonna get a fight with, a fight with Pacquiao and make all this money and blah, 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 blah. And then Aerosmith isn't gonna, you know, he ain't gonna even be a part of that. <laughs> oh, man, they were going in on the LDBC, but... What y'all got to say now? Turns out that this whole Pacquiao fight was a great big old lie. Oh my God. Hey, hey, hey listen, 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 listen. Why are you guys so busy criticizing us? Why don't you people that's criticizing the LDBC, why don't y'all come out and criticize Bob, uh, Bob Aram? Isn't this Bob Aram's like second time? Like just throwing water on this fight and saying, no, this fight ain't happening? Remember the first time when Bob Aram saying, well, you know, I I blocked the Manny Pacquiao fight for Bud the first time because, you know, I was concerned for Manny Pacquiao health. Like, <laughs> and it's the same Bob Barham that said Bud Crawford can't sell. We losing money on Bob Barham. And then Bud Crawford goes, oh, yeah, well, you know, what, Bob Barham really do got a good heart. <sighs> when are you people going to learn? When are you people, when are you goofy, goofy people? Gonna learn, y'all. Y'all not really Crawford fans. Y'all just don't like the LDBC. Listen, I get it. I get it. You know that's the new that's the new hustle thing. You know, you're not really a Crawford fan. You just don't like the LDBC. Now, some of you really legit are Crawford fans. I'm not talking about the real Crawford fans. No, 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 no. I'm talking about these Johnny Come Lately Crawford fans now that's trying to, you know, be on Bud. You know, trying to be with Bud because really, you know, okay, whoever we like, they dislike, and whoever that we that we like okay whoever we like they dislike and whoever we don't like they try to build them up just so they can have talking points against us i get it i get it i know wrong with that okay cool it is what it is i tell you this though man you know isn't that funny man you know bud crawford was going to take 20 percent okay to fight manny pacquiao so i'm assuming that there was 50 million dollars okay there was 50 million bud was going to get 20 because he was going to get 10 million and manny pacquiao, pacquiao was going to get 40 million wow and you know i gotta say you know yes 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 still 20 percent of fighting pacquiao is more than 40 percent of fighting Errol spence but man that 20 percent that 20 percent if that was right well that really told you what they thought about bud man only 20 percent but that, that tell you, I mean, that tell you right there, you know, what Bobby, I'm think if that's what it was, okay, that Bud Crawford can't sell. I mean, I don't know how many times, you know, people have to spell that out to people. I don't know how many times we got to spell this out to y'all dummies. Bud Crawford don't sell. They gave Bud Crawford what he was worth, <laughs> about 20%. Hell, Errol was going to give him 40. Damn. Well, it is what it is now. I mean, we ain't getting the Spence fight anyway. We ain't getting that fight. And you know what? I really wasn't too happy about this fight. I wasn't too, I mean, come on, man. Manny Pacquiao, 43 years old. Manny Pacquiao, look, Manny Pacquiao, 43 damn years old. Bud, 33. And it's just like, okay, come on, man. Come on. Come on. He couldn't even get the fight with a guy in his prime. Now, you know, that, that, that's not Bud's fault. I'm not going to even come on here and tell you that. That's Bud. It wasn't Bud's fault. 
that Bud couldn't get the fight with Manny in his prime, okay? They kept blocking Bud out of that fight for so long. So, you know, I'll give you Bud Crawford fans that. But, but, but I mean, honestly, they had y'all hopes up. I mean, you should have singing all these Bud Crawford fans. Oh, man, they were singing, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. They start singing that song, I'm free to do what I want any old time. I say, love me, hold me, love me, hold me, because I'm free looking ass dudes. <laughs> Like, they legit, y'all. They legit thought that, oh, man, they had it in the bag. They thought they had it in the bag. They thought that, you know, like, they, they thought they hit the jackpot. They was living vicariously through Bud. But thing of it is, though, the fight never happened. And you know what? Yeah, I'm not a Bud Crawford fan. So, yeah, that's what he get. Okay. What he get for trying to fight an old man? <laughs> it's clear Manny Pacquiao don't want to fight this guy. It's clear Manny Pacquiao don't want to fight Bud. He, he never wanted to fight. Hell, and if it's true, because I, I, you know, from what I read, I heard Manny Pacquiao turned the fight down. Turned it down. I guess $40 million ain't enough, or maybe there really wasn't a $40 million to begin with, because I can't imagine Manny Pacquiao turning down a fight against Bud Croft for $40 million. I, I don't know. Maybe he the biggest coward in boxing, if that's true. Okay, if Manny turned down $40 million to deal with Bud Crawford, he the biggest coward in boxing, boxing history. Okay, that's just what people have been saying. There's no, there's no really proof of speculation. I mean, it's just only speculation that Manny Pacquiao turned to fight now. But I do know, boy, we got people saying that, man, Bud ain't finna fight no Pacquiao. Bud ain't finna fight, he ain't finna fight no darn Pacquiao. It ain't finna happen. <laughs> I guess Bud thought he was too good, didn't he? Thought you was too good for the PBC, folks, huh? Thought you was too good. I'll be honest, man. I'm the, I'm not a fan of either. I don't really care. PBC, top rank, uh, you know, match room. I could give a crap. I, I just want to see the best fight. I just want to see the best fight, the best. I don't really care where they're from, how they get the deal done. But I'm, but I'm laughing at this because, you know, Bud and Bud Crawford fans thought that, you know, okay, <laughs> I got the fight that you didn't get. That's how I kind of felt. Like that's I got the fight that you didn't get, Earl. I got the fight that that, that I didn't get. And honestly, if Bud fought Pacquiao, I would have streamed that fight. I'm not even lying. I'd have streamed it. I don't want to see that, man. The fight I want to see, the fight that I pay for, Earl Spence versus Bud Crawford. I pay for that fight. But watching Bud beat up on a 43 year old guy who done had like what 67, 69 fights. I, no, man. Come on. Bud beats Pacquiao. Washes Pacquiao. Why do we want to see that? Now, Pacquiao could come up and beat Bud Crawford. Beat him? <laughs> Pacquiao be a legend. Well, he, he a legend in the sport already. But, I mean, boy, that'll add to the man legacy right there. But, you know, we all know, man. We all know what's going to happen. We know Bud Crawford going to get in here and just wash the floor with Pacquiao. Well, I, I don't want to see that. Maybe if Pacquiao was, like, you know, in his 30s, I probably would have been a little bit more open-minded and would have been thinking, hey, this might be somewhat of a competitive matchup. But a 43-year-old Manny Pacquiao, nah, man, come on, come on. So I really wasn't that interested in the fight anyway. I mean, guys, y'all got to admit, boxing is boxing got us laughing because they damn sure not giving us no fights, but, boy, they got us laughing. Like, this is laughable. And here, I keep bringing up MMA. I keep bringing up MMA. And I keep telling some of you boxing dudes, Listen, man, MMA is showing boxing how, how to do it. Showing boxing how to keep engagement. You know, boxing losing fans, man, left and right. MMA does it again. There's no way that if I'm watching mixed martial arts that we're going to wait to two guys, one of them already out his prime and the other one about to leave his prime when they, when they should have been fighting six or seven years ago. There's no way in MMA that that's going to happen. These people are going to fight while the fight is hot. These people are gonna. These people are gonna wait while the fight is very hot. They're gonna wait. I mean, these people are gonna fight when the fight is hot. That's what's gonna happen. In boxing, I don't know what they do, man. Boxing don't care, man. Boxing, I just let a fight linger on for years and years and six, seven years, man. And so then, when we finally see the fight that we've been wanting for that long, the fight really don't do anything. Like the fight, these fights don't live up that way. Like. I don't know. We in this era of boxing where it just right now it sucks to be a boxing fan. It just it really do. 
So maybe we got something to get excited about. I mean, I don't know. Devin Haney versus Lenari is. I mean, I, I guess that's okay. It's an okay fight. Still not the fight that I wanted to see. But, you know, at this point in time, I'll take even a fight that's, that's 10% competitive. 10% competitive. I'll, I'll take that fight. <laughs> Sorry, bud. No bag this time. Ha, 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 ha.